Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience tuning in here in Mississippi, hit WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com. We're glad that you all can be with us. Also, tuning in to our friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, if you've been listening to the radio, of course, turning on the news, you probably have heard about cybercrime being on the rise. But you don't have to worry too much. There are tools out there to be able to help you to be able to get the knowledge you need to stay safe while you are surfing the internet and taking part in the digital world. Here to talk to us more about that, we're excited to welcome Dave Lewis to our broadcast. Dave is the Global Advisory Chief Information Security Officer at Cisco Security. He's going to share with you guys not only about the latest trends when it comes to cybercrime, but also where you guys can go for more info, too. Dave, thank you again for the time. Really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. So, Dave, this is something that we've been hearing a lot about these days, and I think in, in particular in our area we've been seeing things that have been impacting uh, seniors in particular. But what are some of the latest trends, Dave, that you've seen when it comes to cybercrime? Well, some of the latest trends that were highlighted by our Talos Intelligence team at Cisco um, are specifically that attackers are going after uh, healthcare organizations, hospitals, and mm-hmm. uh, similar type of things in the last quarter. And in addition to that, ransomware continues to be a problem as well as, you know, phishing emails, which are lures to get people to click on links to either install malicious software or unwittingly have their systems compromised. And I think you bring up a really good point, Dave, and this is something that is not only impacting individuals but also businesses as well. Is that something you've seen an uptick in in both areas then when it comes to individuals and businesses? Um, honestly, over the years, I definitely see that continually going up and to the right and not in a good way. Um, the attacks do continue to happen because it has become biz- big business for a lot of the attackers. So it's incumbent upon us as defenders and individuals to do better at protecting our information and not making it easier for the attackers because you know, fundamentally they are going to continue to keep coming and we want to make sure that we are not making their job any easier than it already is which is why the work that Cisco Security is doing is so important. So Cisco recently unveiled the new Cybersecurity Readiness Readiness Index, uh, Dave. Talk to us about that, if you don't mind, and how that can help our audience. Well, this is a fantastic report that pulled security professionals around the world to get their perspectives on how they saw their own security posture as an organization. The really telling piece that came out of this was that 15% of all the organizations polled said that they were in a mature state that in the event of a cyber incident or a cyber attack, that they would come out the other side of it in good shape. Um, This really shows that a lot of these organizations have to do a better job and are working very diligently to improve their security overall. As the individual at home, they have to be very diligent to protect their own information and understand that the organizations that may be stewards of their data are working to protect their information, but they have to advocate on their own behalf as well to make sure that their information is being protected. Love that. Of course, we want the businesses that we interact with to, to keep our information safe, but definitely I love the fact that you mentioned, Dave, we have to do our parts as well. So with that part in mind, how can we protect ourselves online and kind of mitigate some of the cybersecurity risks that are out there? Well, one of the key pieces of the puzzle is to constantly be vigilant to check your credit card statements, your banking statements, to look to find, you know, is there any anomalous behavior on your statements? Uh, So, for example, if a site gets compromised and credit cards are stolen, one of the first things the attackers will do is try to test the cards to see if they work. And they'll do it with a low dollar transaction, maybe one or two dollars, just to see if it works. And this will typically show up as a company you've never heard of. And these are the kind of things you've got to keep an eye out for. Credit card companies do a great job of you know, looking for these sort of things and trying to protect against this anomalous behavior, but obviously some of these transactions will get through. And you want to make sure that you are looking for this to, you know, advocate on your own behalf and look for these problems before they manifest into something much larger. Great tips for sure, and it's important for us, I think, all times of the year, but especially now with, at least you mentioned, with everything being on the rise, both for businesses and individuals, for us to be able to stay vigilant. Again, everyone, Dave Lewis, uh, Cisco Security, has been joining us with some great tips and information when it comes to combating, of course, cybersecurity risks that are out there. Uh, Dave, where can our audience go for more information? 
Well, for more information on this and our report, check out cisco.com slash go slash readiness index. Uh, there's all sorts of great information as, the, as well there, and click on some links there. They're good links. And, um, you know, we're <laughs> there to help be a trusted partner to you and uh, help keep you safe online. And we'll make sure that we link that up for a podcast audience. Dave, thank you again. Really appreciate the time and the information and looking forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Yeah, same here. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live, part of our News You Can Use segment here at WYAD. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Thanks as always. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. Enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let us go make today amazing. Take care. <laughs>